Howdy folks. Today I'm here at Hollister Hills Off Highway Vehicle Park. I'm diving into a subject that's near and dear to my heart. Keeping my gear safe from rain, shine, and sneaky thieves. These Truxedo tunnel covers are tough as nails and they're made right here in the good old USA. Just like my X-Venture XV3 off-road trailer and my Jeep Gladiator Rubicon EcoDiesel, mostly made in the USA. When you're out on the trails, a good tunnel cover protects your gear. And when you're driving to your awesome overlanding destinations, your gear won't end up all over the highway. Full disclosure, I'm not sponsored by Truxedo, but I will have links down below. If you use them, I get a small cut at no additional cost to you. I appreciate the support. Truxedo makes a whole line of products from soft to hard roll up tunnel covers and accessories like their Elevate rack system that are compatible with many of the covers. Those will allow you to carry kayaks or a rooftop tent and still protect the gear in your bed with a tano cover. Now this X-Venture XV3 off-road trailer has been my trusty companion for the last three years. I drove all the way from California to the beautiful town of Clintonville, Wisconsin to pick it up. That was an awesome road trip. This Truxedo Sentry came pre-installed. And let me tell you, it has been a lifesaver on my overlanding trips. I like the Sentry on my trailer so much, I decided to give my Gladiator the royal treatment and outfit it with a Sentry CT tano cover. These covers are similar, like two peas in a pod, but there's a couple of key differences, but I'll get to that later. Let me show you this one first. This weather strip seals the cover to the tailgate and along with others does a bang up job of keeping water out. Dust on the other hand, well dust has a knack for finding its way in, like an uninvited guest crashing your party after a hard day on the trail. This cover opens by reaching under and pulling this release cable. There's one on either side. There's one on this side, and there's one on this side. This cover is built solid with these aluminum slats that interlock and act as a hinge, allowing the cover to roll up and back smoothly. The standard Truxedo Sentry then gets what they call industrial grade leather grain vinyl bonded to the slats. If you're finding this video helpful, don't be shy. Give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. It really helps me out. This cover sits on these sturdy aluminum rails on either side. When you close it, this hook and loop, or what you might know as Velcro, keeps it snug as a bug in a rug. Truxedo has different ways of attaching these rails depending on your rig. These rails were originally mounted with clamps, but the clamps stuck down taking up precious cargo space. So I did what any self-respecting retired sheet metal worker would do. I took the clamps off and pop riveted these rails on. Gave me a little more wiggle room for my gear. One of the best things about this cover is it can hold a whopping 400 pounds. Just make sure you spread that weight out evenly. Don't go dropping a 400 pound anvil on it. That's just asking for trouble. I added these rings here on my trailer as lashing points for my folding camp table and welcome mat. Handy as a pocket on a Ben Davis shirt. This cover comes with a three year warranty. It's tough as nails, but even I managed to find a way to mess it up. I learned this the hard way. Never try to cover gear that's taller than your side rails. Using my heat gun and some industrial strength spray glue, I was able to reconnect the slats and glue the vinyl back on. Luckily, I was able to make this one just as good as new. Now let's move on to the Gladiator and see how this Sentry CT stacks up compared to the Sentry on the trailer. This one I installed myself, piece of cake. If you're just getting into DIY projects, this could be a nice one to start off with. The main difference between the two covers is the Sentry CT comes with the premium matte black canvas tarp instead of the smooth vinyl. It also has a five-year warranty instead of a three-year warranty. I plan on adding the Elevate TS rack system to this Jeep someday, but that'll be a different video. Installation can be a bit different depending on your vehicle. In my case, I didn't have the Mopar Gladiator cargo rail system in this Jeep, but these mounting brackets use the existing threaded holes in the bed of the Gladiator. Starting in the front, this bracket holds the front of the rail on. I ordered an extra bracket for the center and then it comes with a bracket for the rear. In hindsight, I didn't really need to have this extra bracket in the center. It would have been fine with the one in the front and the back, just like they designed it. Just call me a belt and suspenders kind of guy. You can roll this tano all the way up. And it's got these handy straps that keep it in place up here. If you want to take this whole thing off, it's easier than falling off a log. I'll show you. 
you have a large bulky item that you want to carry in the back of your truck and you want to remove your tuxedo cover altogether, it's an easy process. The only tool you're going to need is a half inch wrench. There's one of these clips on the left side and a bolt and you have the same thing on the right side. All you have to do is loosen this bolt a couple turns, slide the clip out of the way, now the tannel cover is loose. We'll do that on the other side and then I'll show you how the tannel cover lifts right out. Now you can just lift the whole cover right off. To reinstall the cover, we're just going to make sure the small pin fits right in this small oval opening and that's going to hold the Truxedo exactly where we want it. Slide your Truxedo cover right back into place so the pins line up where you want them. Don't forget to get under here and slide your clamps back into place and tighten your bolts. You don't want your Truxedo cover to end up like just so much debris on the side of the highway. And to put it back, just slide everything back into place, put a couple turns on this bolt, and it's locked back down. So there you have it. I can wholeheartedly recommend Truxedo tunnel covers. They're tough, reliable, and built to last. And with that rack system they offer, you can haul kayaks or a rooftop tent and still use your tanto cover to protect your gear. Talk about having your cake and eating it too. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments if I missed anything about tanto covers. If you have any questions about these truxedos, let me know that in the comments too. Well, keep it simple, keep it practical, and keep exploring. And remember, at Muddy Ruts, the best is yet to come.